All right, the last step to completing the birdhouse is to uh, put on the chimney. The chimney is the part that gives it probably the most character. Now, what our goal is going to be here with the chimney is to create a shape on this side of the birdhouse that looks like a chimney that is sticking outside of a house. The shape doesn't matter so much as long as it looks like a chimney. Some people like to come up kind of straight and then bend it over and then have a narrow chimney that protrudes from the ceiling. Others like to start out wide and work in symmetrically. Uh, what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to draw on a shape. I want my uh, chimney to exit the house somewhere up in this area right here. You want the chimney to be wide enough that you can actually build it with rocks. So don't try to go too narrow with the chimney. I'm just going to create kind of a generic wider at the bottom, narrower at the top kind of shape. It does not have to be a perfect shape uh, since we're intending for this to look kind of rustic. It doesn't really matter. Now, after you have created the size and shape that you want your chimney to have, you've got to create a block up on the top of the roof up here that will be a place for you to build the rocks around for the part that sticks out of the roof. Obviously we're not cutting a real hole in the roof as there would be for a real chimney. So we're going to build something that simulates that. So what we need is a piece of wood <coughs> that is just big enough that when we cut it and mount it to the roof uh, in this way will allow us to build rocks all the way around it and end up equaling approximately the size of the chimney. So we want the roof, we want the chimney to be just about to the height of the peak. Uh, so we've got to cut an angle on this little piece of wood that is identical to the angle of the roof. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold this right here and I'm going to set that on there so that it goes approximately straight up. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we want it to be cement, we want it to be kind of rustic looking. And then I'm just going to sketch a line on this that, uh, that is pretty close to the angle of the roof. Now, if you're going to be really particular about it, you'll want to change that angle just a little bit more to match the angle of the shingles. And then we will cut that off. Okay, now in this case, it looks very close to a 45 degree angle. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the little miter box that I have set up right here and I'm going to cut that off with my razor saw. I could do it with the band saw if the piece is big enough. I suppose you could do it with the power miter saw. But uh, I like to stay put. helps me not to lose my tools and materials to other people nearby. Okay, now once you've got the angle cut, on this piece of wood. You'll want to check it, set it on top of the shingles where they're going to go. And uh, let me just clean that up just a little bit. Okay, now once we've got that angle cut on there, then we're going to bring it up here and we're going to set it on the roof approximately where it's going to be on the shingle and make sure that it's standing up pretty straight. And mine is. So then I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to make just a little mark for where I need to cut it off. And again, put it in the miter box. And just cut through that. Now when we're done with this, we don't want any wood to be showing through the rocks. So we should be able to cover up any miscuts. You can tell my razor saw is not exactly straight anywhere. Having a little bit of a problem. There we go. Okay, so we're going to cut that now. All we've got to do is we've got to line this inside our outside edge of the chimney up with the outside of the wall so that as we put our rocks on, the level of the rocks on this side is about the same level as the rocks down here on this chimney. Okay, so I'm going to make a little mark where I want that to be. And then I'm going to bring it up here and I'm going to look carefully and line that up with dead center with the middle of our drawn chimney. 
on that mark, and again, I'm going to make a couple of little marks. We shouldn't be able to see those marks when we're done. Okay, so I've just got a cut, couple little marks right here to show me where to put it. Now, all I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue on my angle right here. And I'm going to use the longer nails. Set that in its place, and I'm just going to shoot a nail right through this into the roof. Hold that in place while the glue dries. <coughs> now I can start building with my rocks. Okay. Now the rocks that you want to use, you, they could be anything. It doesn't really matter. What I have here is just a pile of gravel that I've collected from a walkway out here, and uh, and I'm going to try to use some of the uh, some of the smaller rocks up on the top of the chimney, as you would if you were building a chimney, and use some of the slightly larger rocks down at the bottom. This is this should be kind of a fun little activity as long as you're not far behind on your birdhouse so that it becomes a real stress to get things done. I'm going to see about setting something underneath this right here, kind of hold it up for me this way. And, uh, and I'm just going to, to kind of picture puzzle these things together. Now, if it's, uh, if it's important to you, you could get all the small ones out and, uh, and you could work on the top of the chimney first and that would give you the approximate size that you need to match up to down below. Okay, I'm not going to do the entire chimney, I'll just show you how it's done. Okay, so I've got a bunch of my smaller rocks collected right here for the top of the chimney. Now we use caulking. The uh, very best in a perfect world, you would have a gray caulking that would look like cement when it dries. We're going to use clear caulking because it kind of resembles that. We've used white. Uh, I don't like the white quite as much, but it does, it, uh, it does allow you to cover up the wood underneath and make it look like mortar. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my caulking gun right here, and I'm going to put a continuous blob of caulking. Okay, this little lever right here releases the pressure when you're squeezing, otherwise the caulking has a tendency to continue to leak out of the, uh, the nozzle and it makes a real mess. I'm going to put some up this side, starting close to the roof, and you want a big enough blob of, of caulking on there that when you push the rocks into it, it will ooze out the sides, kind of like a mortar would if you're building with concrete. Okay, put it on all four sides. I need to do my side that's closest to the roof here. And once you have that caulking in place, you can always add more, do a little bit at a time. Once you have that caulking in place, you put all you put your gun over the top of a piece of scrap or something so that if the caulking doesn't leak out, it doesn't cause trouble. Okay, I've got a little piece of rock right here that has a little bit of an angle on it. So I'm going to stick that into the caulking and I'm going to slide it down next to the roof. Okay, and then I've got uh, another one here. Try to keep your sizes relatively close. Okay, you can work all the way around it first. You can uh, kind of try to do all one side and then piece from the other sides. The process doesn't really matter. The trick is you want it to look as real as possible. The better your chimney looks, the better your birdhouse looks when you're done with it. Okay, so I've got my pieces going in here. They're fitting fairly nicely. So far I don't have any big gaps. Okay, you gotta got to get them all the way over the corners. Piece their corners in there, make sure they stay put. Caulking is, doesn't smell very good most of the time, especially if it's got silicone in it. Okay, we use an adhesive caulking so that it's got good holding power. And remember, your, your most important part is that you make it look as real as you can possibly get and that you cover up every bit of wood so that it's not easily noticed that you built the chimney around a piece of wood. Okay, now you can see that's starting to look like a chimney. I'll give you a little closer look at it. You can tell that up to that point we cannot see any wood. And we would work our way all the way around it. 
make sure that we get it pretty evenly on both sides. Don't forget, you can always add caulking if you need to. And having some really tiny little rocks handy to fill in small spaces that are not covered is a good thing. You always seem to need more rocks than you think you will. Nice thing is if you buy the rocks, you can always put them in the bag. If you collect them, you can always put them back where you found them if you don't need quite as many. Okay, so there is the beginning of that part of the chimney. Now for the lower part, we do basically the same thing. Uh, I like to start at the bottom. Some people like to start at the top. Again, we're just going to, uh, to put on some caulking down here. And again, we want to put enough on there that uh, the rocks will cause it to ooze out. And I like to do this in blocks, so I'm just going to do about this much of it. Caulking down out of the way, and then I'm going to start with my big rocks, uh, particularly ones that uh, have flat bottoms on them or flat sides. And stick those down close to the bottom of the birdhouse. You definitely do not want these to sit off the edge of the birdhouse. It will cause problems with your base. So we just stick those in there and try to get some kind of a flat surface so they'll hold. And again, you, it's just like putting the puzzle together. You uh, stick the pieces in so that they fit as nicely as possible. Looks like I'm going to need a little bit more caulking on this one. Scrape some up there, stick that in place. And see, I'm trying to overlap my line just a little bit so that we can't see the line. And stick this one over here on this side. Find one that kind of fits down in there. Okay, now here's where if you're using the gray caulking, it's a little, it's uh, kind of handy because you won't be able to see any of the wood underneath it. Again, small rocks to fit in places where you have a gap. A good thing. And you can see that we just build that chimney all the way up, go all the way up to the top, and try to match the size of the part that's on the top as best you possibly can. Let that, let that cure. The caulking doesn't really dry. It cures. Once that is cured, some people put a rock right on top. Some people leave that part open. It looks like a hole at the top. Um, once that is done, you have your window on here. About the only things left that you could do to the birdhouse to, uh, to gussy it up a little bit would to put, to be to put a, uh, a bird hotel on this side. So it's a birdhouse on a birdhouse, drilled with nine holes in it and a slight shed roof on there. You can look at the example to see that. Uh, and you can put the miniature birdhouse on the front over here so that it kind of looks like this birdhouse only with just a hole in it and that kind of decorates it up. Uh, so once all your windows, your chimney is done, put it on your base, and your project is pretty much done. And uh, you should be, should be able to get a pretty good grade on that, and I guarantee folks at home will like that birdhouse. That's a sharp looking project.